so Joe Budden goes in on DJ Envy over the real estate scamming allegations. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So Joe Budden has aired out DJ Envy and his real estate partner, Cesar Pena, aka Flippin' NJ over allegations that Pena scammed clients at a massive amounts of money. Pena's real estate dealings have come under intense scrutiny recently after dozens of clients came forward claiming he has mismanaged their funds. One client said they've lost $1 million doing business with Pena, while another is apparently $500,000 out of pocket. Pena, who teamed up with Envy in 2018 to host a series of seminars on the real estate business across the tri-state area, issued a statement on Instagram last week denying the allegations and clarifying that DJ Envy had no involvement in any of the deals. My business partner and friend DJ Envy is being brought into something he has nothing to do with. He was never given any money to do any real estate deals with me, nor has he been party to any deals, negotiations, nor partnerships that I have had with investors. DJ Envy himself addressed the scandal in a recent Instagram Live interview with former NFL player turned podcaster Tony The Closer Robinson, who had called out Pena on Twitter for allegedly having 20 properties up for foreclosure. Like when it comes to Caesar, you know, we've had a conversation and I spoke to him and I spoke to Jen and I told him if he does, and I asked him personally, I said, do you owe people money? Does he owe you money? We have an investment together that we're going to sell. He does not owe me money. We partnered up on a property. He partnered up on a property. Property you and a half. It's actually money, DJ Envy. To school, let me tell you. I, 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 you and I talked offline, DJ Envy. No, I'm gonna tell you 100%. No, I'm gonna tell you. You can't do that, DJ Envy. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You're gonna let me speak or we not. No, but we gotta do If we're gonna tell the truth, we gotta tell the truth. We're gonna tell the truth. Now, now, now. We're speaking the truth because I tell you everything. I talk to you offline. That's what I'm saying. I told you, me and Caesar, me and Caesar, we bought a school. That's the only outstanding deal that we have. That school never came back, and that school is not done yet. When I spoke to Caesar today, he told, I told him I have a problem, and he said, I'm giving you your money back. That's it. So we don't have, we don't have any dealings with each other. And I, told, and, and I even told you, because when we had that conversation, I called him last thing. I'm like, do you owe anybody money? Caesar told me no. He said there were people that we invested with that did well, and there was people that we didn't invest with that it takes a little longer. And I told him, nigga, whatever you need to do, give them people back their money. That's all, that's all it is. But when it comes to it, that's what it is. And, he, and you find somebody else that, that will, will talk to you on live in a minute to talk to you about the real, because I honestly, but you, you can but ask you know, people this But you know, you know we talked offline, though. That's why I asked you the question. And it's like, you know, we personally and, offline, I mean, I know you might be wanting to still not really draw your man under, but like, we talked offline. And we, we spoke online yesterday. That's why I was kind of upset when you put out a, a picture of me because, and Caesar and said, DJ's every partner owes all this money. And I'm like, damn, my nigga, we spoke last night. And I'm telling you, I would tell you, but you know, I get it. My name on it is a little. You get more clicks and all that. A thousand, a thousand percent, it gets more clicks. Right. But that, that's the same thing you do when you call out real estate investors, and then you do a real estate event. That's called marketing, right? You, that's what that, that was part of your marketing. Event. Like we, you we, throwing, huh? you throwing somebody under the bus that fucks with you. That which is weird. But I don't care I'm, because this, I really didn't take this, nobody's money. And I just want to tell you the dude that you talked about that that allegedly owes a million dollars. I just got off the phone with him, and the first thing he said was, you know, I did meet you when I went to the office, but. We never spoke. You just said hello and kept it moving. So, you know, I don't know why Tony would say that, you know, you, you certified that deal or you made the deal comfortable. I'm like, nigga, we didn't even talk. If he walked past me now, I wouldn't even know who he was. I speak to anybody that comes to my office. But what I would like to do, I would like to get Caesar on there and y'all have, have a conversation and then you can ask him all the questions you need to ask him. While discussing the scandal with his co-host on the latest episode of the Joe Budden podcast, Joe Budden silently opened his laptop and began playing Kanye West's Jail, specifically the part where he raps, Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight? From there, Joe Budden proceeded to lay into Cesar Pena and DJ Envy, whose recent claim that Charlamagne the God, not Joe Budden, should have topped Complex's hip-hop media ranking, appears to have gotten under the former Slaughterhouse rapper's skin. Please, you knew something was fishy. That little fat nigga ain't been around in about a year and a half. Envy ain't stood next to that nigga in about 18 months. We ain't seen, of course, we ain't seen an advertisement, mm. an ad, commercial. These niggas know when the heat is on the way. The heat is on. <laughs> on the scene. <laughs> These niggas know when the fucking heat is on the way. Knock it off. All that gunplay shit, distraction. Mm. Mm. All that car show shit, distraction. Mm. Produce that little fat fuck. Get him out of here. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> We can get to the bottom of it fast. <laughs> you niggas been all around Hudson County, Essex County, every New Jersey county. Get that little fucker to the front and say, hey, 
Hey, Caesar, pizza, pizza. Get up. Let's get to it. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Where you at? What bag you in? Now, Caesar, oh. get to hide. <laughs> Look at what we talking about. A nigga named Caesar gets to just hide. <laughs> no, nigga, don't hide now. Come on, you was adding Best Fest? You was at every other fest? Get your ass out of here. Mm. Pod Fest? I want to see him. Don't get to just text some shit now that I thought I could use my platform <laughs> to inspire. Nigga, you even addressing this like a scammer. Oops. That part. You don't even know that your reply sounds scamish. Very scamish. Mm. My platform to inspire. Nigga, get, get out there. Come on, come on, come on, Papa. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on out. Hey. Boom, boom. NB Charlemagne, I don't need to hear none of that gunplay shit. What else y'all got going on up there? Jess, my girl, too. Shout out to Jess Larry. But nah, bring Caesar up there. In <laughs> fact, <laughs> I'll tell you the guests we want to see. Caesar. I'm tuning in. <laughs> Caesar. That's the one. You Enough of all that, bringing the political parties, Dr. Uma, oh, that shit cool. Get Caesar up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be too hard to find him. <clears throat> Flipping some houses. <laughs> what? Stop bro, looking no. at me, bro. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. I ain't saying nothing. Oh, man. It's over, Caesar. It's over. We saw what happened to the last Caesar. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> at two brute, nigga. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's done. it's done. Come out. We want to see you. I mm. agree with my man. It's done. And them five dollar pieces that your name is after is trash anyway. So <laughs> it's just all discombobulated with you. Get out of here. Got the car show. You niggas been <laughs> promising garages out here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas been running around fucking promising two and three families. <laughs> Look at Ish. All under Ish's nose. <laughs> but what do you think about what Joe Budden had to say about DJ Envy? And what do you think about DJ Envy being involved in all this mess lately? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com. <laughs>